interesting battle. Um, because Ike still does pretty well against Young Link, who most people agree uh, is the best Link. And yeah. then Toon Link, a lot of people tend to agree, is the worst Link. But that's not to say Toon Link is a bad character. Toon Link is still a very, very solid character. A lot of uh, interesting options, strong options as well. Uh, especially that forward air back air. They're actually really, really strong. Yeah, that's the crazy thing about, you know, Toon Link is that compared to Young Link and Link, they have their own strengths, but Tully seems to be the more rounded of the two. He kind of has a little bit of both, best of both worlds, where he doesn't necessarily suffer from trying to set up a lot of projectiles into the thrones. He kind of has good raw base damage all around, and then compared to both characters, they're kind of, you know, separate in one angle. So, Tully is definitely one of the more underrepresented characters. Yep, super good stuff so far. Uh, Psychot off to a hot start, only taking like 26% that first stock, just eliminating a stock from Marvelous Marco. Marvelous Marco got a nice little uh, chain right there, putting on another 26% or so, but Psychot is definitely in control here. Uh, basically up a whole stock at this point, but Marvelous Marco actually starting to get some offense going. Okay, let's go. A, <laughs> and a forward smash into the returning boomerang. Okay, this is what I like to see now. Yeah, that's kind of the Marco special. He's really good at getting those boomerang returns and getting confirms off that. But he's also very good at feeling enough pressure into where an opponent goes for a jump. Oh, good luck. There's boomerang in that situation. And that's why you kind of see Marco use that a lot of the Yep. Oh, but that Aether coming out so strong. Uh, but I'm, not, I'm obviously not going to be strong enough to kill from across the stage at 20%. But still, the fact that he knocked at Marvelous Marco across the stage at 20%, but not like to the blast one, obviously, is kind of scary. It kind of tells you how strong Aether really is. And now we got a full Rage Ike in play here. Marco's got to be careful. Never well, mind, it's that, gone. That was good, man. He punished this man for the roll. And that's kind of one of those things, things about Toon Link. Like, he had uh, up smash has some ridiculous range. Yeah, for oh, sure. Nice. I mean, so far, some good stuff here. Marvelous Marco starting to make a bit of a comeback, but now Psychod on the offensive, getting a uh, two-hit combo there, just to build up some good damage and just kind of put some pressure on Marco. Yeah, okay. that's kind of that's kind of like one of those things, right? Is Psychod wants to deal the pressure on Marco, but you can see Marco always has something to kind of cover that pressure, right? If Psychod's gonna go for a jump in which he loves to approach a neutral air, there's Boomerang to cover that, and if he goes for usually a more grounded approach, he has to worry about arrow and bomb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, uh, that's the thing is. Um... Young Link's, uh, our Toon Link's projectiles are also a little bit different. The boomerang in general just is a, it feels a lot slower, and that arrow just also slower. It just seems to travel forever. And that eighth, they're actually going to be able to close out that stock. I'm telling you, that move is so strong. Oh, yeah, here we go, March. We'll yeah, I mean, hey, if you get it, it looks cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like Psycho was nowhere near. I really like Pluto, so points for trying to mark out. Yeah, man, and continue to throw out these projectiles. Just kind of create some pressure here. Uh, yep, gonna use that Aether to get back to stage. And wow, the last hit on the hero spin, I'm pretty sure. Able to close out that stock. We got a ball game. Yeah, because compared to both Two Links and Young Links, hero spin is that Young Link doesn't necessarily kill him so much higher than so does Two Links, but the difference is that it also has great knockback, so it's very similar to Young Links. It just has a little bit more knockback all around compared to Link where the knockback is actually only at the start where it's really, really good, and it's not a movie. All right, here we go. Psychod getting some good damage in here. Marco trying to create a wall, trying to find some sort of opening. The setup's not quite working right now. Psychod is not bite, biting on any of those options. And there we Oh, okay. I thought he was going to get that narrative up air, but the grab is going to do well enough instead. Marco, 84%. Got to be careful. I wouldn't be surprised if Psychod's going to be trying to go for this Aether very soon. Yeah, but good stuff to, good stuff to Marco, though, because you can see that he's kind of effectively... Uh, well, earlier, I mean, Psychod got back to jumping. He kind of effectively stopped Psychod's jumping approaches here, but unfortunately, when it mattered the most here, Psychod was in the air and it's great back there. Yeah, no, um, Psychod definitely did a very fantastic job there, uh, staying grounded for the most part. That That is such a big part of the game plan, uh, especially with Marvelous Marco throwing that boomerang uh, at an upwards angle. Psychod stayed mostly grounded, um, and then, you know, as soon as the boomerang was really not a factor anymore he found other ways to jump in obviously get that very good uh nair going and really just 
continued that pressure uh didn't worry about you know following up too many combos or overextending did a very good job of just kind of you know staying in his lane for the most part but overall onesies and twosies we're going to lead to that game one as psychot is going to take it and uh yeah move up 1-0 <laughs> yeah uh, like you said, right, that's kind of one of those things Marco was doing effectively is he was using Boomerang to stop Slycod with his aerial approaches. I think the one thing that he probably didn't do that I didn't see too much is you can also aim Boomerang at a directional angle towards the stage in which it also hits the ground first and also still covers that high jump. So even if, if Slycod were to try to make a close quarters approach and Marco probably shot the Boomerang a little too late, by him throwing it effectively at the stage first, it also still hits Ike and he can also hit him for it as well. So, but really good stuff for psychod like to stay more grounded and it caused marco at the last second to go for like a more grounded not necessarily ground i'm sorry a more leveled boomerang throw in which he understood like okay psychod's now going for grounded plays but unfortunately uh, psychod knew that he can mix it up and then punish marco at the last second right right here we go right into game two uh don't know what stage we're going to but it looks like we're going to be going right back to town and city yeah, we were here game one, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were here game one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm getting a little a little concerned. But wow, okay, great. Stuff right there. Nice little 33%. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to get the upper to follow up, but that was beautiful. Yeah. Once again, look, you can see Marco is kind of a distance game by too. Like, okay, hold up. Maybe the area of ring is not going to be good right now, so I need to go for the more level one. And you can see how Psychon took, takes advantage of that and is able to go for a lot more areas. Yep, and there we go. Psychon with the Ike special, the Nair to the up air. Uh, not going to kill. Uh, keep in mind, Town and City's got the higher ceiling. But good stuff from Marco getting a couple back airs into that boomerang just to continue to put on some pressure as Psychon was off stage just looking for a way back. Oh, great punish there with the hero spin, able to just call that out on the landing. And then Ooh. great boomerang set up right immediately, stopping those options with the bomb as well into the forward air. Yeah, no, I mean, he's been doing a very good job of placing these projectiles in this game here just leading into additional damage so super good stuff and right there just leading to that whole stock uh beautiful i think it was a back air after the bomb so super nice stuff there oh that up air has such a good range and then marco probably yeah. thought it was a little bit too great for that <laughs> it's just it's really crazy like how big that up air is is how fast it is how much damage it does and how much knockback it's got it's it's like almost the perfect move like, yeah it's, like, it's really like, crazy like, like aside from like ike frame beta buffs from ultimate this from smash 4 ultimate the biggest buff was like ike's upper oh. change and i think oh this man could not land and that was good too because he hit him from neutral air into the boomerang and that sent ike even further off the stage Yo, he carried him all the way across town and city and ended that stock. That was beautiful. Marco on an absolute tear. Not happy with that game one, it seems. Oh, using the, the, the hook shot into the into the boomerang. I think it was treating boomerang and then getting that up tilt or up air. Oh, man, Marco is all over Psychot here. Yeah, and I'm, I'm telling you, this this is reason why like him and Bo are like two of the best Toon Link mains here on the West Coast. It's just that both of the results are pretty solid all across the board, especially in the offline space. Marco has been known to take a lot of names here in SoCal, and then finally, with a great setup of the Boom Bang, he will get that forward smash, moving him into game two. Sorry, game three. Yeah, man. Uh, maybe, maybe Marco, I don't know, he sounded like he needed a warm-up because he just got done playing H-Box, but like... Maybe just that game one was just all data. And like, I mean, Psychod played as well as he could, but Marco was just smothering him. It's like, as soon as Psychod like started playing more grounded, I, I, it feels like Marco kind of like recognized what was going on. So he started changing up some of the trajectory of his, of his boomerangs, uh, placing projectiles in different positions in general. And it led to so much. Marco just absolutely dominated that game. Yeah, and then that's what really matters about two links. Actually, all the links neutral is boomerang is one of the biggest neutral tools that they have. So the fact that they can actually just change the projectile angle of that tool and then plan accordingly with it gives a lot of depth to the character, especially the way you can see Marco play with it as being a tool link main. Because you see a lot of his confirms be more so from the bong, but a lot of opponents start to slowly fear that boomerang. And then finally Marco adds another layer to that gameplay by using a bomb to confirm into an aerial. It's definitely a lot to keep track of here, but we'll see here what goes on in game three here. Marvel Marco 1-1 one, one against Psychot. Yep. Would it, uh, would, it, yeah. would it be safe to say uh, self-proclaimed the number two in the Midwest, perhaps? <laughs> well, number two Ike in the Midwest is what they claim. <laughs> yeah. yeah, number two Ike in the Midwest. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if it lives up to the hype, man.
Hey, I mean, I'm all for it. I, again, I love that confidence. But uh, it's just when I hear Midwest Ike, I hear Raving King and Yes. I'm like, uh, it's no disrespect, but those guys are just so good. Yeah, you, you see, yeah, you see the results, man. And you got, you got out of sight on like, I, I need to see yours, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, we're gonna be getting into this game three here on PS2. Uh, Marvis Marco with a nice little lead here, and that eighth are just throwing it out willy nilly. Gonna be able to get a decent punish off of it and just continue to pop. Oh wait, never mind. Psychon's starting to get something going here. Nice. That was good on Psychon. He went for neutral lane because it also can cover a little bit behind Ike, but Tool Link was a little bit away from that one. Yep, also uh, forgot to mention, <laughs> thanks for uh, Jetsuki and Rick. Rickles in there, uh, letting me know that uh, Ryuga's also Midwest and he's pretty much the Ike, so. Yeah, yeah. He's a really, yeah, you gotta admit, he's one of the biggest Ike names out there. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's what I was saying earlier. Midwest has got those Mega Mans, they got those Ikes. <laughs> But wow, beautiful stuff from Marvis Marco there. Gonna get that boomerang into the forward air. Not gonna be able to close it. Oh, wow, actually the returning boomerang, once again, just coming in clutch. And we're gonna see that hero spin to close out that stock. Beautiful stuff from Marvis Marco. Every, every once in a while, I just forget that boomerang is there. And lo and behold. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's kind of the crazy thing about Marco, like I said, right? Like you start to feel the boomerang, and if it's not there, then you have to worry also about bomb and Marco's approach. And at that situation, the boomerang was paying all its dividends. Oh, that was good. That was a good release too, because he wanted its like to get hit boomerang and then get caught by another uh, smash or another area. Mm -hmm. Yep. Both these guys trying to find their footing, trying to get some sort of options going here. Marvis Marco, you're doing such a great job converting off of these projectiles, using those bombs effectively right into those forward airs and back airs. Yeah. Doing a very good job just creating a wall and Psychod's trying to find a way in. Yeah, like you can see he can lock down the aerial space with a uh, angled boomerang, but he can also lock down the ground itself with just regular aerial. And then that, the fact that Bomb also bounces on the shield as well, kind of locked down like Ike for holding shield. And it would allow Marco to go for a punish if Ike go for an out of shield option. Oh, unfortunately, Marvelous Marco went for a turnaround grab. Okay, gonna get the stock anyway with that up smash, but they went for that turnaround grab. If they just did a normal grab, would've gotten the back throw. Don't know if it would've killed, but still just putting Ike back off stage is just a tough spot for Ike to be in unless he can get a good quick draw. Yeah. Oh, nice. Holds the shield, and that was a good bomb, too, because the explosion timing was right on point here about the Aether. We'll take the stock here. Psychon looking for more aerials. You can see it that he's kind of feeling himself here in game three. All right. Here we go. Oh, that was so far, good stuff. He was close, too, because he hit him with Boomerang, and that would have forced Psychon to reevaluate if he had to go for a low recovery. Psychon starting to get a little bit of offense going here, but right now it's just not enough as <laughs> Marvelous Marco just continues to be such a menace with these projectiles here. Got Psychon up to 113. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see the kill right there and the boomerang into the up air to close out that game three. Marvelous Marco goes up 2-1. And I talked about it earlier too. That's the crazy thing about all the links, right? They can throw the boomerang on an angle, and it'll even if it misses Ike or a character on the ground, it'll go over up towards the air. We can also hit them, and that allows them to also get follow-ups. Crazy, especially when it's close-range boomerang. Yeah, super, super good stuff. For Marvelous Marco, just really bunkering down, getting those conversions off of those projectiles, building up so much good damage. Psychod definitely looking like they're in a struggle now. They took that game one pretty strongly, but now Marvelous Marco has really made some amazing adjustments and now is in position to go up 3-1 if Psychod can't get it together. And uh, Marvelous Marco will be taking on Rickles next. If, if he can close this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get to see what a lot of the Link mains call as uh, the, the timeline matchup, right? Is this the timeline where the hero wins or the timeline where the hero loses? Ready? Well, that's the thing is Rickles actually has a really, really good Toon Link as well. So the problem turns into uh, even if you go in with Toon Link, I mean, 
Rickles could just meet, match you with his own Toon Link, or even then, he knows the setups that Toon Link wants to go for. He knows what Toon Link is all about, so it's not like it's an unfamiliar matchup for him at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know he's also played against Rin before, which is a uh, Link main from Chicago. All right, good little Z drop bomb there into the Nair to get a quick little 23%. So far, Marvelous Marco off to a good start. Uh, Psychod looking for a way to get in. Nice little forward air. Man, so much damage. Two hits already up 33%. Boomerang, good call up there on the, uh, on the jump out of the shield. These guys are working so hard to keep their spacing just right. Obviously, Psychod wants to make sure that he can get these hits appropriately, but Marco doesn't want to get too close because Ike hits like a truck. Nice. This is what I'm talking about that angle boomerang, man. It covers so much. Nice, that was good. If if he catches him jumping in that situation, he has to worry about getting hit by Boomerang forward air. Alright, yep, great back here. Gonna send Marco off stage to see what the option is. Wow, good stuff from Marco! The bomb into the boomerang setting up off stage, and now we're not gonna get the stock. We're on Kalos that will not kill, but wow! Beautiful stuff from Marco just continuing to apply this pressure here. Oh no, he's dead! <laughs> Yeah, he kind of caught himself in the video. Oh, he was feeling himself so much. He went up for that up smash, and like you saw it connect, and you're like, yes, oh no, that's an Aether. <laughs> wow, super good stuff from Marco so far. There we go, finally able to close out that stock without taking any damage. Good stuff so far, but now Psycott back on the offensive. A quick 36% already. Yeah. You can see that Psycott is pretty solid on. I wouldn't say solid, but also he's pretty well aware of like how to play I because you can see like in his gameplay he's spacing out that neutral really well where it's safe enough that he can actually back away from to Nice. I kinda like it kind of escapes the situation where he doesn't see it's favorable and then tries to take back neutral. But Marco oh, Wow Oh no! no. Oh, dude, he did so well. He had that reverse up tilt into the hero spin and then Saika just falling out of it and then getting the Aether Spike. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. Saika just went for three quick draws in a row as well. What the hell? <laughs> All right, getting another quick draw hit. Good punish. Yep, saw the Aethers coming out, got that forward smash charged up, knowing that they were safe, and got a nice little uh, percentage out of that. Let's see if he can find a way to close up the stock. Weird call out. Yeah, I mean, not a weird call out. I mean, definitely if I went on stage for some reason, uh, would have been a nice little hit there. But now, Psychod on the offensive has a decent bit of rage going as well, so Marco has got to be careful. Uh, oh, gonna get a quick draw hit. Back throw not going to be enough. Trying to go for that grab again, but just not going to be able to get it. Okay, nice little extension with the hook shot. Nice, good forwards up there. Punishing Ike for the re -grab. You can see that it's like I kind of wanted to break through the middle quick after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now Marco's got to be careful. He's been doing a good job just kind of creating these this wall and using these projectiles to build up a lot of damage. But Psychod is on the offensive. Wow, that dash attack actually going to be enough from center stage there. 121 off the side of Kalos. Psychod going to even this up. Two games apiece as we are going to go into a game five. Yeah, and for those of you guys that are probably wondering, like, wow, that dash attack actually killed. Yes, it was actually buffed uh, the most recent patch. So uh, I got a lot of crazy buffs that makes this character a uh, much more of a bigger threat. I feel like it kills a little bit earlier, where back then, you know, he used to kill a little bit later. But now Dash Attack kills a ridiculous percent alongside, as of course, you've all seen Aether. Yep, so now we're just going to be waiting to see uh what's going on into this game five situation here um i'm not sure what stage i'd want to go to i mean i think town and city is a good pick both of them played well there uh if i remember correctly they both took a game on town and city yes they did um Psycho taking the first one and then marvelous marco answering right back and uh yeah we've been on basically only big stages this whole time so i wonder if we'll maybe get a smaller stage here 
Yeah, we'll see. Uh, looking like looking like Town and City is the name of the game here. Unfortunately, not a smaller stage in which both players would love to yeah, no, I mean, this kind of works out. They both got a win here, so I, I can see how, uh, you know, the this would be left unbanned and then the other yeah. player would take take the pick here. They, they both got a win. They're both comfortable here. Ike does well with these platform setups. And uh, obviously, Marco has been doing a good job using these projectiles just kind of create all sorts of haphazard situations for uh, Psychod to try to find his way through. Yeah. Okay, good stuff on him for going for the boomerang in that situation. Nice bomb into forward air. Like you said, right? It's a good sense for both characters. But it also, I feel like it gives like just a little bit more depth in where he has platforms to kind of run around away from two links projectile game. So it kind of adds just a little bit more for Ike. But at the same time, it gives Marco more space where he's not going to die early to the ceiling. Right, right. Dude, there we go. Okay, yeah. Wow. Good air dodge. Being able to get back to the stage and the turnaround grab into the forward throw. Now going to create a really tough situation for Psychod using that boomerang, keeping him uh, in shield and just kind of getting a couple shield hits. Oh, trying to get that turnaround boomerang once again. Not going to be able to get it. Now Psychod on the offensive once again here, getting a couple stray hits. But oh, that's big. Yeah, that was very, very big. He caught, he caught Mark on that situation. He was able to get on neutral land, almost took care of the stock here. Mark go looking to break through from the right side of the stage. And I like it too, because if you want to take center stage, you have to play cautious. You can't just come in aggressively here, because you know that I can take care of the stock. Psychod's mm -hmm. doing a really good job of changing up these quick draws every once in a while. Recognizing, hey, sometimes it might just be the play to just shoot across stage. And uh, definitely got safe there. And wow, the Aether! I didn't think he was going to get him on the way down. But as soon as I saw that hit clip, I knew Marco was blowing up off the side of the screen there. Marco dropping that first stock. But he's got Psychod at 144. Could absolutely find a way to close this out. But taking a couple strong hits from Psychod, who's now nearly got full range. Oh, the hero spin. Actually, final hit on that one. Gonna be able to take uh take a couple percentage. Oh, man, I've i dropped talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good, man. Don't even worry about it. I think Marco here on this situation, he kind of understands like I'm very much at a deficit. Like I can actually die at this percent. So Marco is literally looking to play a little bit more of the projectile game yet again. Because he knows if he gives too much of himself at this point, he knows one confirm, one neutral air, one aether can definitely take care of the spot. Like you said, right? I I with range is I'm sorry, with range is really ridiculously scary here. Down throw forward. Sorry, down tilt forward are not going to be enough. Kind of missing the sweet spot, I would say, but still, Marco off the stage here, and this is kind of looking to be a snowball as he gets oh. the neutral B here, and Marco is now down at a deficit. You can see him in the Angel platform. He's kind of being a little bit, like, self-aware and assessing himself, like, man, I'm really behind. Yeah, I mean, Psychot has been doing a excellent job at finding his openings, just kind of get some of those conversions. Again, a lot of it's just onesie twosies, and then there's been a couple spots where he just finds an additional hit, can extend those combos just a little more, and just built up quite a bit of damage, and going to use that eruption to get rid of that second stock. Marco is at a pretty big deficit right now. I don't think the hill is too steep to climb. Marco's still got a lot left in the tank. He does very well building up a lot of damage. It's just a matter of can he get these kill confirms once he's at those appropriate percentages. Yeah, and this is game five down in the city. I talked about how now Psychot has a bigger space to definitely run around two links projectiles, but also he's got the adaptation that he's had from the past four games. Mm -hmm. That was a nice little combo from Marco there. And Psychot using a uh, quick draw of all options to just kind of get out of it. But man, now no, Marco is on a tear at the moment, using these projectiles, getting these conversions off them too. I, we brought it up a few times now. Marco's doing a fantastic job, but Psychod still trying to be an absolute brute, just finding a way to catch that Aether. Uh, you, you know, I, I agree. You know, there's there's a lot of people in the Midwest here, but Psychod looking to keep his name on the map for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, go, yep. looking, he's taking it. Look at see it in this gameplay. He's taking advantage of that space, right? Okay, fine. You want to cross projectiles? I'm gonna get away with it. If you over approach, I still have time to come back here with an with an aerial. Uh, good stuff, but definitely a little nerve-wracking. Oh, Psychod tried to go for the back air to close it out, I think. Uh, probably could have gone with the up air. This is kind of a potential kill scenario, but just... Oh, shit! <laughs> Almost tell Marco. Good DI to stay alive here, but man, it is definitely getting scary. We've got Psychod with uh, quite a bit of rage on him right now. That Aether is going to close it out. Goodbye. No, why he lived? <laughs> Marco looking like the boy who lived from the right side of the stage, man. Give it up for Town and City being the saving grace. 
I can't believe he's still alive. I thought the Aether was going to be good. And you know what? Next Aether for sure. Good as dead. Marco's got to be careful not to land on Psychot's shield because I'm sure he's going to be looking for it. So let's see how Marco can find a way to turn this around. But man, this is tough. It could already be too late. Yeah, back throw. Marco off the stage here. Good job on him pulling the bomb because that, that, that timer can actually help you out if you do have to go from the bottom of the stage. Six second timer before you link. I'm sorry, two link can actually get another up special. Yep, and Marco trying to get these projectiles going. The up air finally going to connect, but we're sitting at 136. Ike could absolutely destroy you with a plethora of options here. Up air, back air, forward tilt instead is going to be what he goes with as he closes out this game in an exciting game five. And his prize is to go take on Rickles and lose his quarterfinals. Yeah, man, give it up to uh, Psychot. <laughs> <laughs> looking like he might actually be one of the best midwest ikes out there like i said he wants to keep his name on the board for very good reason yeah no definitely definitely made a good case uh saying hey don't forget me i'm i'm very talented as well and you absolutely are man so super good stuff to psychod uh yeah and also just a little bit of a bracket update we saw ven go